Mountains are born, grown and sculpted over timescales of tens of millions of years. This is a geological blink of an eye. Mountains form when the rocky plates that form the continental crust of our Earth collide. We can learn a lot about the active geological processes that are forming our mountain belts by studying the mountains under a microscope. My research focuses on the greatest mountain range on our planet today, the Himalaya. I'm particularly interested in the processes that are secretive and elusive. They're occurring in the depths beneath our feet, tens of kilometres underneath the mountain range. Luckily, there are clues for what's going on down there that we can find at the surface, such as this metamorphic rock here. Metamorphic rocks are rocks that are chemically and physically transformed by changes in pressure and temperature. Now, once upon a time, this rock would have been a muddy sediment that was found on the northern continental margin of India, much like this rock here. But 50 million years ago, the Indian continent collided with Asia. Now, this collision led to the burial of the continental material of the Indian crust such as this rock. Now, when you shove a rock down at such great depths, maybe 40 kilometers of rock sit above it, you see massive increases in pressure and temperature, and this acts to change the rock and grow new minerals in the place of old ones. But the question that I've been asking is, how on earth do you get a rock that is so far down in the crust back to the surface in such a quick time? Well, we can investigate this and unwind the geological clock by looking at the mineral textures that we see underneath the microscope. We can then take those minerals and fire lasers at them. This allows us to look at the chemistries of the minerals and actually date when the minerals were growing. This allows me to track my rock's progress as it makes its way back to the surface to the highest points in the Himalaya. It's through these types of processes and through this research that we can get a handle on how the Himalayas have been forming.